Africa. Born in Upper West here, yeah? in Lara District, or Lara Municipal Asset now. Yes, I'm 44 years of age. I'm a farmer and agro-processor, and also a woman leader. So through the farming, I decided to go into the agro-processing so that we don't just limit ourselves just within the farming aspect. So we decided to add value to whatever we produce. I focus on rice, soya beans, maize, granites. For the rice, as you can see here, we have this one, it's about two acres here, but we have it in other places to so total of rice. I can assure you that I farm personally about 12 acres. Aside that, I have other women groups that are also into the rice too, and they are also doing a lot. Um, the National Coordinator for Rural Women Farmers, uh -huh, both here, Techiman, Yeji, and Accra Bukobi. Within our municipality here, there are over 1,300 women farmers that I'm leading. Uh, so as I farm small, I just farm at like demonstration farm, but there are half about 1,300 followers within Lara municipality here, and of course, Upper West region in most of the communities. So they are all into farming. I also employ 30 of them. They are permanent workers that I put in different categories because we are into rice, we are into rice processing, shea butter processing, granite processing, and many more. So I've just put them in groups. For the farm work, I can say that I've, I always invest yearly more than 70,000 because there are some of the farmers I support with farm inputs, the tractor service and all that, um, and even giving them some kind of coaching or training and uh, all that. I get agree people to come in, then I pay them so that they can be able to come out with a very good yield. For the profit, it's, it's good. Yes, because uh, for instance, if I invest like 80,000 in the farm and I'm lucky and it rains well, I farm according to the time, and handle it at least, I can get almost, almost, if not 100%, but about 80 something percent returns I get. And even because I also add value to it, it gives me more profits. The, the reason why I even started with this kind of thing is that here we are in one farming season. So after the rainy season, these women have to go to the south to look for greener pasture, pick cashew, wash bowls and other things. So this made me to say, no, I have to, because we have a lot of potentials here. The community relationship aspect, I don't have problem because I've worked since 2010. Any community that I go, even if it is looking for land, or if the women get up and say, oh, they are looking for land to do this, then they mention my name, they give them the land. So it is easy as that. I have the human resource in terms of land and other things, as they know that I'm empowering them, and that is a source of livelihood, this thing that I'm giving them. I don't have much challenge in terms of that, but only maybe some kind of financial problems that I have, because I have the human resource. The other resources are there, but the funding is not easy. What we need is the machinery and financial support, because some of the Things like the granule paste we process, we don't have machine on its own. So we are compelled to uh, 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 manage with the one that mail flour. So after mailing the flour, then they have to clean, do all sort of things, wash before. So we need an, a machine. And also the neem oil extraction that we also do. We do it like we are doing kuli kuli, the granule this thing, huh? but you have to use the hand. And we pound it. If you are pounding, it's very bitter. So it goes into your throat. If it is the machine, then we can be able to extract the oil well. As a nice farming season, farmers are calling here and there looking for the neem oil. But our capacity cannot do much. So if we are able to get machines and also financial support, I think we'll be able to employ more than hundreds of women and other people. Initially with my women groups, I started with only two communities. But now I'm able to cross over 36 communities within the municipality. 
And also, I'm able to be the national coordinator for rural women farmers too. And also, the secretary general for women farmers in Africa as well. That is with the group called Nosomla Solution. We are the solution. 2017, I was able to also get an award from World Food Pro Project to WFP in the region. My message for the Agri Houses and then the sponsors is that at least they should support us. But we are in the grassroots level supporting the women. If they come and even see the nature of women we are supporting, they themselves will know that we are doing something. I live it right directly in the community with the women and I know the ordeal they go through. So if they are able to support me, for instance, it's not Anita they are supporting, but a whole lot of women that they are supporting because I don't work with one group, neither a family company or what have you. I work with a whole lot of women within the municipality and even beyond. So if I'm able to get that support, it will be some kind of motivation to myself, the family, and then to the community at large because they'll be proud and they'll know that yes, following me, they also one day get there.